A little bit of rain in the forecast on Thursday, as Anthony says, so you want to stay dry when it hits, right? Well, don't script when buying an umbrella, apparently. In tonight's Consumer SOS, Sean O'Shea examines the difference between a cheap brawley and the cream of the crop. Plus, is there such a thing as an unbreakable umbrella? For some, it's a fashion statement. But for most, the umbrella is just a way to stay dry. Any umbrella will do, actually. Anything that'll keep the rain off me. When it's coming down this hard, any kind of umbrella is a relief from the rain. But make no mistake, there's a big difference in quality between those umbrellas that cost a few dollars and those that cost a bit more. The difference? Longevity. You can buy inexpensive umbrellas for a few dollars. The biggest complaint with those is they break, either from repeated use or more likely as a result of the wind. I don't think no umbrella could stand uh, strong winds. Or can they? We're 14 miles less than hurricane, uh, hurricane simulations. Eight years ago, we tested the Gust Buster. The wind machine has turned up to 100 kilometers an hour. Now it's the choice of golf pros and consumers who want durability. It's a lifetime warranty. Uh, if there are any defects uh, at all through the, uh, through the life of the product, we will, we will replace it for you. At between $45 for a small one to $70 for the golf size umbrella, you won't find a gust buster in a discount rack. But you won't find another umbrella with its wind defeating design. This is where the wind is allowed to be released through these holes. Umbrella owners usually end up buying a new one every year because of breakage or because they left it behind somewhere. Buying a better brawley could be an investment in keeping drier longer.